friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us discuss about the oblique sketches. So what are oblique sketches? These are like rough sketches. So a rough sketch without accurate dimensions, however resembling a specific shape. So in this case, this is important that even though we do not draw the particular structure with exact dimensions. Let, let's say that you want to draw a cube. Now you, really, you want to draw a cube where each, the length of each side is 3 centimeters. Now you really do not bother whether each side is exactly equal to 3 centimeters or not. You just draw a sketch in such a way that by looking at that particular sketch you can say that okay this, this resembles a cube. So this is a cube. So it is just like a rough sketch without accurate dimension. So they are oblique sketches. So let us take the example of a cube here. So let's say that you want to draw a cube. So what you draw, we, we know that in a cube, all the faces are exactly equal and each face is a square. So how do we draw it? We draw it in such a way that the most prominent features face towards the observer. That means when you look at a cube from front, how do you see the cube? So only those prominent features should be focused more. So how do we draw a cube? What we do is we draw the, draw the front face and the back face. Now you, you must be saying that okay the front face is exactly in front of the back face or we can say that they are like exactly behind each other. So why is it like that we have drawn the two faces slightly displaced from each other so that we can show the 3D effect. So to show the 3D effect parallel lines are drawn from the front face at an angle. So if, if we assume that this is the front face and this is the back face. So let's say that this is the back face and this is the front face. So how do we connect the front and the back faces with parallel lines like this? So one, two, three and four. So these are the lines which have been drawn from the front face and at an angle. So the front and back faces are connected by these parallel lines along the line of sight. So we are looking at this cube from this line of sight. So what, what do we see here? Now when you look at this, do, don't you think that just by looking at this picture you can say that okay this is a cube. But we know that cube is three dimensional. But where have we drawn this? We have drawn it on a sheet of paper which is two dimensional. So how could you do, how could we do that? So how we achieved that is we, we have drawn the vertical line vertically. If you see here, the vertical lines have been drawn vertically. But not all the horizontal lines have been drawn horizontally. When you look at this one, this is fine. But when you look at the third dimension, which is this one. So this is one dimension, this is one dimension and this is the third dimension. So when you look at the third dimension, it is not purely horizontal. It is like slightly tilted at an angle from the horizontal angle. And due to this angle only, you get the look of a 3D. So this gives the 3D effect. So when you look at this particular picture, you see that not all the sides of the cube have been drawn equal in lengths. For example, the length of this side, let's say this side and this side. Do you think that they have been drawn equally? No, obviously this this length is very small when compared to this length. But since we have tilted this length at an angle, so when we look at this cube, we feel that okay, that side is like we are seeing it from sideways. So we are not able to see it exa its exact length. So this is how we draw a cube. So we first draw the front and the back faces and then we join the front and back faces using parallel lines, which are not drawn horizontally, but at, its, at some angle with the horizontal. Now when you look at this particular cube from front, so how, how do you see it? So when you actually look at, look at it, this is how it appears to you. So basically you are not able to see these lines. So they are not visible to you provided this is a uh, like a solid cube. So this is how it would look to you. So basically these lines are normally drawn using dotted lines. So I have also explained you before the concept of dotted lines. Dotted lines means that you cannot see those lines uh, directly because they are hidden at the back. So this is how a, an oblique sketch looks like. So now let us try to draw some oblique sketches. 
So let us draw the oblique sketch of a cube on squared paper. So what do we mean by squared paper? So this is like, like how do we have graph paper? So in a similar way, we have squared paper where the entire paper is divided into like small squares. Now, why do we need this kind of a paper? So basically to draw better oblique sketches, these squared papers help because, you know, they kind of give you some idea about the dimensions. Again, not the real idea because here we are not working with accurate dimensions, but at least a rough idea can be obtained using a squared paper. So let us take this example. This will make uh, your ideas clearer. So let's say that you want to draw a cube, um, say a cube of dimension 3 by 3 by 3. Now what do we mean by 3 by 3 by 3? This means that this, the measurement of each side of the cube is 3 centimeters. So we want to draw a cube like this. So we really do not bother whether each side is 3 centimeters or not. What we do is we first draw a square such that each side is 3 centimeters. In 3 centimeter in the sense that when you are drawing it on a squared paper, you just make sure that this side covers 3 boxes, this side also covers 3 boxes. So that just tells you that both the sides are equal. So you know, in, in, in order to ensure these kind of rough me measurements, the squared paper helps. Now since you have these squares, it helps you to kind of determine that okay, 3 squares this side, 3 squares this side. So you basically know that the two sides are equal. So perfect. So you have drawn one face of the cube. What about the other face? So the front and the back faces. So first we draw that. Whenever we are drawing an oblique sketch of a cube, the first thing that we do is we draw the front face, we draw the back face and we make sure that the front and the back faces are drawn like slightly displaced from each other. Like you see, if, if you started counting three squares from here for the front face, then get it displaced by one more square and then you start counting three squares for the back face. So that's how we draw the front and the back faces. Then what do we do? Now we connect the front and the back faces like this. So we have connected using these uh, diagonal lines. Right? Now when you look at these diagonal lines, they do not cover three squares. Why they do not cover three squares? Because as I said, when you want to bring up the 3D effect, you draw the lines horizontally and you draw them smaller just to give a feel that, you know, it, it's kind of showing the depth of the cube. So that is why it is just that we just join the front and the back faces with these diagonal lines. Perfect. And then what do we do? We just draw the vertical lines. And again, when we have drawn the vertical lines, so they were already there, right? So in this case, the vertical lines were already there. So what we have done? So how did we do this? We basic, we basically drew the front face, the back face, and then just joined the front and the back face. That's it. And that's how we have obtained a cube. Now, when you look at this oblique sketch of a cube, what do you see? You see that the front face is clearly a square, but you, when you look at the side face, do you distinctly see it as a square? It, it seems to be a parallelogram, right? When you look at it, only if you focus on this side face, it actually looks like a parallelogram, but it is not a parallelogram. So this kind of effect gives the 3D effect. This tells us that, okay, this is something which is going deep inside, but since we are looking at it, from this angle, that's why we see it like a parallelogram. So basically this is how we draw oblique sketches. So let us also try doing an oblique sketch for a cuboid. Now let's say, now in cuboid, the interesting thing is that now here, all the sides would not be equal. So let's say that we want to draw a cuboid of dimension, let's say four by two by two, something like that or four by two by one. That means that the, the length, breadth and height would be four centimeter, two centimeter and two centimeter respectively. So in this case, what do we draw? We do not draw a square. Instead, we draw a rectangle. So how, what would be the dimension of the rectangle? Four by two. So uh, the length would cover four squares, like how it covers here, one, two, three and four. And the breadth would cover two squares, that is one and two. So that's how you draw a rectangle. And let's assume that this is the front face. So in a similar way, we will draw, draw the back face as well, slightly displaced and with the same dimension, four by two. So now what is our next step? Just to connect the front and the back faces. That's it. So how do we do that? 
we just do them with again the diagonal lines the vertex of this rectangle connected to the vertex of this rectangle similarly this one with this one this corner with this corner this corner with this corner so that that's the only thing we need to do and once you do that you see it as a cuboid so here also you see you are not sure of the exact measurements what the exact measurements are but when you look at this particular picture it resembles a cuboid and that is an oblique sketch thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you